Hello everyone, in this video we'll explain the issue of the listed listing and how to solve this problem. First, what is the listed listings? The listed listings happen when the listing was recorded in the previous active listing report, but hasn't been recorded in the current active listing report. Those listings will then be transferred to the delisted listing page. Solving the delisted listing problem is crucial for your Amazon business because that listing, once delisted, isn't generating any sales for you. In fact, you are not only losing profits, you're also paying for extra storage fees for basically dead inventory. What you need to do is to get your product back online and make those sales. First, let's talk about the reasons when the list of listings occurs. Number one, you have closed or deleted your listings on Seller Central. Number two, potential pricing error. The first scenario when there's a pricing error is when the min and max prices are set outside of the price range of the Seller Central. The listings may be deactivated by Amazon. These listings will then be moved from active listing to the listed listing tab in the Be Cool Repricer. The second scenario could be when the min and max price is much higher or lower than Amazon's regulations. The listings will then be deactivated from Amazon using its internal data to detect potential pricing errors. You could check the delisted listings by going to the listing tab at the top and click on the listed listing in the drop down menu. You could also input a certain ASIN or SKU to search for the delisted listings. It is recommended to check in Seller Central for the reason which a listing has been deactivated because the listings are deleted or due to a potential pricing error. Here's how you can fix the issue step by step. Step one, log into your account, go to manage inventory. If the issue is caused by a potential pricing error, it means you need to set reasonable min and max prices in Seller Central. Step two, remember it's important to set the range of your min and max prices in BQL within the price range that you set in Seller Central. Shipping fees need to be considered when users inputs min and max prices in both BQL and Seller Central. You could also change the rule to a more moderate rule so it's not overly aggressive or overly focused on profits to lower the chance of having a pricing error. Step three, after you save and relaunch a listing, it will take one to two hours for FBA listings and 48 hours for FBM listings to be auto updated in the BQL system. So how do you set a reasonable price to prevent pricing errors? Number one, use the BQL profit calculator where you will input all your relevant shipping costs and targeted profit to calculate the min and max of your product. Number two, check the current and historic prices on Keepa. Under the data tab, you can see the average buy box price in the last 90 days in Amazon out of stock percentage. Oftentimes when Amazon is selling on the same listing, and your price is too high, there's a higher chance to have a high pricing error. We would recommend you to set the max price within the historic Keepa max price in the last year to ensure the listing will likely not trigger a high pricing error. Number three, when adjusting the min and max price under the listed listing, remember to calculate all your costs so your price and profit will be as accurate as possible. Number four, go to the Be Cool competitor analysis and make sure your product is not below the non-Amazon competitive price or above the non-Amazon competitive price. That's all for today. We hope that you find this video useful. Now you know what the list listing is and how to solve it. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out some other videos for more tips and strategies. I'll see you next time.